Um, hello everyone and in this video um, I'm going to show you how to make a green screen chroma key in Unity 5. First of all, the first things first, I'm going to show you what files I have. So, the files and properties of, you know, the pro, you know, the preferences of my project. So I have here a special a resolution uh, 1280 and 70p is resolution of my video which is going to be used in the final video so you can see that I have here the overlay image this one it's the image taken from my actual video so how I took this image uh, I have here my video in the Unity 5 Assets folder and I open this video with application virtual dub and I select a specific frame by using this uh, slider and I hit this button and I go uh, one frame forward you can see that my frame now is plus one and I hit this button I can see that you can see that one frame is taken. I go to a file, export image sequence, and I export this image, this frame, to a PNG file. Then I take this file and I open this uh, PNG file with GIMP portable. You can see that. The Photoshop is a really cool application, a very nice toolkit, but it's very heavy. And if you want to open some file, you have to wait for Photoshop to load up all the necessary libraries and all the stuff. So you can just use this GIMP to make some really small application, I mean not application procedures. So here we go. You open your not transparent image and you go here. And you double click over here and replace 100 with 50, and you will have your image transparent. Then you go to File, Export as, and hit Enter, replace, and then you replace your image by pressing Export button. But I have my image transparent already, so I can proceed to step number two. So. I make sure that I have a green room in my scene. So the green room looks like this. So I have a plane over here. Uh, I will hide the rest of planes. Plane number one, which is the floor. And then uh, I just have this plane. And this plane has a specific material, chroma key material. Chroma key material has specific shader unlit with shadows which was taken from the Unity 5 U Unity 3D web page on U on their you know forums or answers I do remember so it's not my shader it's not mine uh, so I uh, have this material applied to uh, my floor chroma key material and this material has this shader this shader and has a green color but it's not color it's a texture texture is over here this one it's just one pixel of green color um yeah that's all about this this material this is this shader unlit with shadows uh and this is that image I exported from virtual dub. Uh, this is not interesting script. My video, which was used to extract this frame. This is another material. So this material uh, uses that image, that frame extracted from my video, and this will be used as overlay. Is over here, and where this material is applied, is it's applied to uh, cube, the cube image. I mean, to cube game object. 
which applied, I mean, not applied to, you know, the parenter to my camera like this. So you, you, you can see here. So I, I have, actually, I don't need box collider. I don't need you. So, uh, this box is just in front of my camera. It's over here. And I can see, you can see that it fits my screen. You can see it here, right? And behind this cube, I have here a window. So, you, you, you can see that in an image, in an image, I have here my window frame and the wall. And uh, you know some glass and uh, you know the rest of the wall, and I have to hide the player, the player or any NPC or actor behind this wooden plank. And to do this, I created here a cube number one, cube number two, cube number three. So this cube is over here. This cube is over here, and this one is over here. Uh, so I will apply different shaders so you will be able to see it's from this point of view. So uh, you can see that the player is located over here behind this cube. This is not cube, this is a window frame. And let's just keep talking on our green screen room. So I just Stop it to explain you why I have, you know, these planes. So just have a look. Plane number uh, one, it's a child object. And you can see that I have here such values. Five. Five mean, means that this plane will be exactly in the edge of this parent. The edge on the right. The edge on the left and rotation is 90. Here is minus 90. Here is also 90, 90, 90, minus 5 in front, just 5 in the back side, minus 90, 90. So it's proper rotation. It's really, it's really, you know, important and easy to parent, uh, your object and, uh, and rotate it and move it inside of of the parent because you know here you know the zero means that this this object you know will be just you know here on the so so the object will fit will fit its uh, so you know it will be just in correct position uh, I will show you what I mean. So so you can see here that it's just in its center. Hold a second, what? Uh, ah, it's hidden, of course, it's hidden. It's hidden, that's why you, 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 you cannot see it. So look, zero means that this is just in the center of, of our mm, apparent object. So this is very cool. Okay, already nine minutes minus. Let's let's go to step number three or four. I don't remember. Well, so we have our room ready. Green screen room ready. Chroma key room ready. Now let's let's film this. Finally, let's film. Uh, yeah. So we will uh, import a Unity 5 standard assets uh, characters asset. So I assets import package characters this one, and we will take a prefab third person controller and move it somewhere over here. Then we will hide our cube like this. And we will change 
uh, the shader for chroma key material to unlit with shadows and we are ready let's maximize this window and I will use Bandicam to record my video so you can see it here uh, yeah, target is not correct I guess Target. no it's not correct let's make it like this okay good good now let's okay, you can see that we have here almost precise you know the size almost precise almost that one we're looking for okay 70 Okay, 720. Okay, almost, almost. Now let's hit play button. Over here. And let's wait for Bandicam to initialize. Let's minimize this and hit play button over here. Okay, enough. Enough. Uh, let's then open Filmora. And I forgot to stop recording. Stop recording. Okay, we have it ready. Um, now let's go to the folder with our uh, green screen recordings. And you can and select the latest recording. Let's hide this date. Today is 11th of August, 7 p.m. Nice. And now let's uh, drag and drop this file into our project. And also let's drag and drop our um. You know the video. Okay. Let's cut our video because I don't need to see my face like this. Okay, let's cut from here. From here. So you can see that my camera is, you know, a quite shaky video. It's not very good for green screen recordings. But anyway, it's just an example. Just an example. And now let's cut it here also. And now let's drag and drop our green screen chroma key video to our scene. Okay. You can see that it's, it's, it does record my mouse cursor because it's a band cam. I recommend you to use OBS to record your green screen videos because it's much better. Okay. Green screen, make parts of this clip transparent. Now let's cut it. Let's cut it like this. Maybe even like this. So you can see that it's working pretty nice now. Maximize. So the proper, you know, almost proper shadows. Yeah, almost. <laughs> So yeah, that's all about this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching again. Have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye bye. No. Mm -hmm.